At Telecast Fiber Systems, we know that broadcasters are always looking for better ways to bring new and exciting pictures to their audiences in a cost-effective way. To get those pictures, they often depend on high-quality remote robotic cameras placed where camera operators aren't practical or affordable. These POV cameras, or point-of-view cameras, are now required in almost every sports broadcast, including football, baseball, hockey, auto racing, and others. Whether behind the goal or flying high above the action, robotic cameras are also used for remote coverage in stadiums, government facilities, military applications, and in broadcast studios. Telecast Fiber Systems' new TPOV systems are designed to make it easy and affordable to place these robotic and remote HD box-style cameras far from their base stations and still deliver all of the signals to and from the camera that are needed for a successful production. These include uncompressed HD-SDI video from the camera to the control room, as well as a composite or NTSC or PAL video if the camera has a menu out signal full robotic control of the pan-tilt zoom head, as well as separate control of the camera itself, including paint, focus, and iris. Genlock or tri-level sync back to the camera, a 10-100 Ethernet path with a giggy or a 10 giggy option, contact closure GPIs for remote tally lights, and up to four channels of bi-directional audio for effects mics or intercom use during camera setup. Without a telecast POV system, all those signals would need to be carried on copper cables that are limited in distance and capacity. Using the new TPOV links, these signals can be carried on just one fiber optic cable that contains two strands of single mode fiber. Distance limitations are history, as all these signals can be carried up to 30 kilometers with no degradation in any of the signals. If power is required at the camera, you can use simply hybrid cable this will deliver up to 95 watts of power to the camera unit, the camera, and to the pan tilt zoom head. The system is made up of two transceivers, one at the camera end and one in the control room or base station. Camera end transceivers, or camera units, come in two configurations. Throwdown units are designed for mounting in permanent installations, like a studio or a rooftop application. The more robust mini muscle shells are designed for harsher environments that might need to be set up and torn down over and over again. When equipped with either two STs or an optical con connector, two strands of fiber optic cable can be used, either tactical or infrastructure fiber, and powered locally with a common 12 volt power source. Alternately, they can have a SMPTE hybrid connector or an optical con connector and use SMPTE hybrid cable, getting their power from the copper wires inside. This heatsink identifies a hybrid power camera unit. The systems are available with a variety of signal paths, delivering only the complement of signals that your application requires. Whether you need a simple TPOV301 system with just HDSDI, Genlock, and camera control, or the 324 system with all the possible video, audio, and control signals that any remote camera could use, there's a TPOV system available for you. At the base station or control room end, 1RU rack mount frames can house one, two, or three camera systems, allowing you to control up to nine cameras from gear that takes up just three RU. The systems can accommodate robotic camera systems from any manufacturer, Panasonic, Sony, Canon, JVC, Iconics, and a host of others. The new TPOV system is the most advanced fiber optic system available today for robotic cameras, yet it's far less expensive than its predecessors that were available just a year ago. So when you need a long distance, robotic, remote camera system that's affordable, reliable, and robust, look to Telecast Fiber Systems and our new TPOV systems.